Today, Independence Police arrested a teen accused of stealing a 93-year-old Korean War veteran's SUV. Family was trying to sell the vehicle on Facebook Marketplace, but officers say the 17-year-old drove off without payment. Fox 4's Russell Colburn with the story you'll see only on Fox 4. He's live at the Target off East 39th in Independence. Russ. Hey, John. Yeah, family has started a GoFundMe page to help this man out. This is where it all started here at the Target back on March 20th. They say the suspect asked for the keys to test drive the vehicle. Then he just sped off out of the lot. When you were in Paris, France, 93 year old Korean War veteran Sergeant Bill Marsh is as comfortable telling you about his days in the service. They told us to shoot somebody. We did. Oh. <laughs> as he is the boar he killed on a hunt at the age of 90. Yeah, I remember shooting that rascal while holding that rascal's skull. But family knows him as a loving grandpa, former teacher, cattle farmer who was always there for them. He's a good person and I take it personally for him. This is Marsh's 2011 gray Dodge Durango. Marsh's property taxes skyrocketed and living on Social Security with a reverse mortgage on his house. It was really his only asset. His son and grandson decided to sell it on Facebook Marketplace to try to raise $7,000 for him since he really doesn't drive much more anyway. You can see here the buyer tells them to come to the Target on East 39th Street in Independence saying it's his work and he'll come out on his break. Family tried to let him test drive it. I was going to get in the back seat. The door's locked, the car starts, and it just, he speeds off. I look up and I see my dad staring across at me and I just said, you know, dad, he just stole the car. Of all people, a 93-year-old veteran, this man has never, ever asked for a dime from anyone. Tuesday, Independence Police recovered the severely damaged SUV after a chase with the suspect, a 17-year-old now in custody. Officers now looking into whether he was involved in the more than one dozen car theft cases that fit this MO. With this one, they did meet in a public place, so yes. you would recommend they need to be at the police station? Absolutely. The police station is there's cameras, we have signs, there's people coming and going constantly. Family is raising money for their beloved grandpa with this GoFundMe. Dad's kneeling down telling him what happened and grandpa, you know, takes it all in and sits back and goes, huh, well, at least everybody's okay. He's like, no one was hurt. There's some perspective and they say that speaks to the person he is. There's already been an outpouring of support. Bullard Automotive is where the car is housed. They own that tow yard. They've offered to change his tires entirely free. And since four o'clock, we've seen more donations to that GoFundMe page, which I have put on my social media pages. Lauren. Russell, that's amazing. Thank you. Russell Colburn in Independence tonight.